No, I'm silly, man. He is. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. You got food on your mind, baby. So, I'm eating. It's okay to be a hater. <laughs> Why I gotta be a hater? Cause. Did you use a Why I got a double cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Your shit is the too. This is this is the Morris thing. Uh huh. That's what you gonna blame that on? My grandma all? got this. Uh huh. I ain't got one of those. I know how to get rid of it, but I don't want to. I ain't to. got one of those. What? I ain't got one of those. <laughs> no, so shiny. It's not. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> We know that the thought of relocating can be very stressful, especially if you don't know where to start. So we recommend that you start by planning a trip to go house or apartment hunting. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some mobile apps that you could use to help assist you in this process of relocating, especially if you're thinking about leaving from one state or another or to a whole nother country. First apps I want to mention are Uber and Lyft because they're great for transportation from the airport and or to your car rental. And where we actually got our car rental from is this app called Toro and it allows you to rent vehicles from like private car owners so that you can get around on your trip. So there's no need for no credit check or anything like that. You just need a valid driver's license and a bank card to rent a car. Alright, so we're in an Airbnb guys, it's like 8 o'clock. <laughs> It's a studio apartment, so we just came in through here. Like, pop on. It's really just a studio apartment. So like I said, if you don't have the Airbnb app, you are missing out because it is a great app where you can book spaces or rooms for just about anything at the fraction of a cost than actually just renting a hotel room. So trust me, it's way more cost efficient to go Airbnb. <laughs> so, this clip is here for my fitness buffs, those who watch me on most of the time my fitness channel. Wanted to show you guys where I was at my healing stage after my liposuction. I believe this was actually only a month. So I was pretty much healed mostly, maybe about 95%, 5% it was just still some swelling and you know going on but and I wasn't really wearing my faja or all of that. You know I just naturally made sure that I took care of myself during this trip and one was by cooking my own food <laughs> and doing the best I can with keeping the diet intact keeping those uh, clean whole foods within my diet. So this is something that I am so longing to enjoy in a new state, which I am since you're watching this <laughs> during the time where I am moved into my new space. But I want to share with you guys the process of it all. And so, yeah, this is where we are. So it's helpful to use Zillow and apartments.com apps to search for your new home, whether you're going to buy, lease, or rent. <laughs> we found this apartment on the apartments app, and this was our first choice until we saw the other one. <laughs> So 
So like I said, this was our first choice until we had a chance to see this one. And we ultimately went with this luxury high rise apartment um, that had floor to ceiling windows and it's in downtown Orlando. We'll be giving you an apartment tour coming very soon. Just make sure you thumbs up this video for that video to come next. But just showing you what are the amenities at this apartment building and just kind of give you a visual of one of the apartment's floor plan that we didn't move into this particular floor plan that you're probably about to see pretty soon. But um, we moved into another, so we'll, we'll show you that one in another video. But just wanted you to see the amenities that are within this apartment building, downtown Orlando. So down below in the description of this video, I've provided the steps and the links to the apps that I listed or mentioned in this video. So if you follow the steps in order, it's going to help you with your planning process when it comes to house hunting and all of that. So share this video if this was helpful and you think it could help someone else. Give this video a thumbs up because it definitely helps us out. And yeah, just continue watching. So when I got home, we had some unfinished business. And when I say we, I mean my old self to my new self. And I had a spiritual bath earlier that week when I came back home and decided to walk in my neighborhood nature trail and use uh, the walk to just kind of take some time to pray and release. And I took this mason jar of my spiritual bath water and released my old self to the ground and symbolism to release and letting die my old self and start a journey to learning my new self so more confident more driven wise through experience and at peace with self in all aspects of my life so i really enjoyed doing this Afterwards, I decided to continue to walk and, and meditate and just take nature in and enjoy my last walk through this nature trail. I'm so grateful for it. Yeah. Many similarities yeah. can be noted between yeah. the car call and the common house. How many goddamn pictures you want to take? <laughs> that is not a picture, it's a video. However, my titties are being so they look. Why do you always want to bring up your titties when you turn on the camera? You know I'm going to say something nasty. Why do you want to do something to them or something? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, we left a lot of things behind, mainly things that we didn't feel we need or that didn't pertain to the business. So some of the stuff was practically brand new because we were in the process of actually buying this home. But this house is just was not good for us. Um, sometimes you just can't change your environment by just painting walls or buying new furniture or renovating a home or even though all of those are good options, it's just sometimes you just have to know when it's time to leave. And it's just something that you just can't change the energy there. You just gotta leave. Ladies.